that notion. She muses. I could hitchhike to London to get my teeth fixed on the free British dentistry benefit. Yeah. Oh, well, then hitchhike straight away back to Chitral. Yeah. And I'm going to load up with gifts for Sharif. I'm talking a wind-up musical box. It goes good in the Victorian uh, oh. palace I live in. Everything's an antique. I'm an antique freak. Everything's an antique. You touch it, there's a burnished coin of Queen Victoria. Look like she just ate a lemon and needs a good... And, uh, yeah, everything. There isn't anything. It's 350 years of backwater. We're talking a gothic remote tower in the... You know, like a big gothic house on the Indian subcontinent. Remember, that's how the story started out in the beginning. It's a metaphor. For, you know, to help you, me, tell the story. And that, but there's a genie, her guardian angel genie of the Hashish Trail, yeah, whispers to her uh, at this moment. This is a crossroads moment. This is like the whole story's writing on this here. The genie of the Hashish, Ishan. This is probably not a good idea. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, the Bandit Queen, huh? She hasn't lived out of the frontier for two whole years. Yeah, she's she's gone native and come out the other side. She's the queen of Chitral. Yeah. Um. Yet, at this moment, she'll never be closer. The main trunk line of the Hashish Trail goes right through Jalalabad. It's halfway between Kabul and Torkom at the Pakistani border. Only a few kilometers from there. Yeah, she would just go there and then like swivel westward towards Istanbul. And uh, London. And as she's thinking, like, uh, you know, I'm a bandit queen. Let me just do a bank robbery. Get in, grab eight teeth, and get the hell out. And that way nobody gets hurt. No way, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, um, that one in the front, damn it audaciously snagged out on the dried apricot? Oh, watch out for those, huh? And she, the queen, she had not noticed the serious deterioration of her mouth back in the Victorian Mustoj Summer Palace because, uh, well, uh, she was an opium queen freak, like her king. Well, uh, but uh, now uh, her whole mouth aches. Ooh. Ooh. And she's got seven hundred dollars worth of crumpled up Afghani rupees. They're they're a big thick wet roll in her wet Afghani waistcoat. Yeah, it's dripping. Well, uh, Queen Latifah, she fantasizes. Oh, 
what theater, what tribal theater to appear to Sharif again with dazzling white teeth. World-class London teeth. I mean, when a British bites down on something, they lose their whole country. The East India Tea Company, huh? That's a good front if I ever heard of one. Going for tea, then ship up the opium over to China and do them next? Well, look. The queen, the queen. She's getting clear, right? Uh, I'm already in Afghanistan. Well, should I briefly... <laughs> Get in, get out. I'll get my teeth repaired in London. Or uh, be faithful to my king back in the Victorian Palace. What do you think? I mean, you've got a lot riding on this. You're laying down about four or five hours of your life just to absorb up on this tale. Which way should she go? London? Or back up the back way to Chitral. Well, is that Jeannie again? I mean, she's got a, a really good Jeannie, uh, a guardian Jeannie. And uh, oh, her hair. Uh, whispers, uh, ride your faithful mule back to the summer palace. Yeah. Don't abandon your king and lover. Europe? It'll fuck you right up. Oh, yeah. Look it. You're in a reflective mood, so meditate, baby. On Che Guevara. Che meditate on your heroes. Well, John F. Kennedy. Fucking Marilyn Monroe. Stone to the gills on LSD. Oh, yeah, he's a hero of yours. You really love that. Oh, well. And then Timothy Leary escaped from jail, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> In California and fled to where? <laughs> Afghanistan. Yeah, uh, well, how, you, you know about Martin Luther King and, and, and who uh, soaked up on him, Martin Luther King, yeah. And what happened to your heroes? Well, um, unbelievable. Queen... Latif turns her back on Sharif. Yeah, uh, you better get used to it. You all think you had a nice, cozy story, happily ever after kind of thing going up in Chitra, but no. She's going to London to get her teeth repaired on the British Free National Dentistry Program over there. Oh, yeah. They're so proud of it. They get their teeth fixed for free. Not like the Yanks, huh? They just do the best they can. Huh? Well, stubborn, vain queen. <laughs> okay, so she walks into, uh, well, she rides her mule into... Uh, Jill but She gives that away to the first beggar she sees. <laughs> he can't believe it. It's just like uh, Jesus walking down the road. Hey, have a mule on me. Elvis gave away some Cadillacs, huh? This is a kind of, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, she flags down one of those uh, British manufactured Bedford lorries painted with animal colors and streams and rivers and... Uh, is a big Patan guy, big burly trucker. Oh, he sees her. Huh? Sure. Hey, come on, board. And not only is she good looking, she's offering 
him a whole bandolier of Lee Enfield copper cased bullets. Oh yeah, you, I'll take you all the way to Kabul or wherever you want to go. <laughs> you so handsome woman, huh? Camel driver's dream come true. This mm -hmm. seductive storyteller S. Oh. Well, look, uh, Queen Latif, well, she's a survivor. She's been in the frontier. She's, she, she knows what a dumb thing to go into Kabul. She's headed for London. She gets it around one of those traffic circles. Uh, the baton driver pays off the bribe. Uh, the, and the roadblock traffic circles, everybody's a little militia. Bring a few cousins. Let's uh, stop some trucks. Uh, she just heads for Gosney. I, I, it's almost enough to make your the flower fall out of your ear. Gosney. Okay. You never heard of it because you never been anywhere. <laughs> uh, it's 120 kilometers west. That's toward Istanbul. On the way to Kandahar. Do I need to get the map out again? If you had the book, you wouldn't need me to hold a map up to the cameras. A sophisticated setup here, a complete crew of people here. Oh, my two cats. Yeah, mm -hmm. enjoy breakfast. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Ah. Uh, yeah, I did that Alzheimer's test at the clinic. Here's three words. Tell me what they are. 60 seconds later, I missed one. So I know where I'm headed. Ah, uh, bumpy switchback road. Yeah, that sounds about right. Queen's cherished Lee Enfield uh, antique rifle across her lap. Oh, she's got uh, one less bandolier. Oh, oh, and then Gosney. Oh. She walks all night in the moonlight, huh? <laughs> Barefoot? Oh, here comes the sun. Imagine. This is not a Norwegian bathtub situation. Here comes the sun rising in the east. Light rain. Uh, and a Baluchi, long distance bus driver. These Baluchis, huh? Uh, another tribe. Uh, and he breaks. Uh, like, uh, who is that? Babe. Uh, oh. And he gives her a ride. A free ride, 400 kilometers. You know how many miles that is? <laughs> you know what? Uh, get rid of your rusty abacus. Uh, you get like a smartphone. Um, all the way to Kandahar and the Baluchi. <laughs> Accepts no payment. Why? Because Baluchis are deeply sympathetic to people who travel without shoes. Yeah, that's... Jeez. Um, well, Kandahar. Oh. Uh, the queen takes refuge in the most fun place to be. I mean, this is a hippie watering hole. That's spiked with LSD. Peace Ollie's Hotel. Yeah, Peace Ollie, huh? Short statured. Uh, where's a, a peace button from the Haight Ashbury into the lapel? Well, Afghani Wastefields don't have lapels. Uh, he sticks it up on there. And uh, yeah, he trades passing freaks like Sphinx. <laughs> uh, uh, 
they're coming through with thousands of hits of LSD. Not to make any money, just to turn on the whole, the whole world. Uh, anybody. Just open your mouth. Cockfighters, tribes people. Oh, yeah, the Afghanis love the hippies. Huh? And, and he'd give them hashish for it. He'd, he'd hand it down. Uh, uh, uh. Well, look at it. Peace, Ollie. He's a giant. Yeah, uh, he's the, he's the, the tallest dwarf in Afghanistan. Huh? Yeah, and he's he's got a, a gobble up the LSD himself to keep his peace glow vibrating. Yeah, I mean, the, his hotel is so hip. They've got a little one-page room service menu. And it's got California barrel sunshine acid printed, hello, printed on it. And the other thing you can get, Chinese green tea. Almonds, if you're lucky. And hashish cookies. I mean, these, these puppies are as big as pancakes. You know what? These are free people. If you've never been in a free place, you don't know what... They're free. They have to worry about, like, narcotics agents. Or, you know, there's nothing to narc on. <laughs> you know? It's all out in the open. For everybody to happy up on it. Enjoy life. Oh, peace out. He'll let you know, huh? Life itself is a gift to enjoy. So enjoy yourself.